Got something? Yeah, I got a bogey. Yep, low and fast. Try and detect the radar. Better than the smuggler, I'll leave my badge. Eagle One, this is Pack Rat. Come in. Eagle One, this is Pack Rat. Come in. Uh, this is Eagle One. Go ahead, Pack Rat. We have a bogey. For intercept, turn right, heading 2406 miles. Bogey's heading 330, ground speed 160 knots. Roger, Pack Rat. And Eagle One, this is a probable mule. Let's get him. Eagle 2 is vectored to your position. ETA, 10 minutes. Negative orbit, unable to remain on station, Pack Rat. Too low on fuel. Returning to base. Uh, Roger, Eagle 1. Eagle 2, did you copy Eagle 1? Roger. No sweat. We'll be on station in five minutes. Our mule isn't going anywhere in that time.
Alert to all units. The nest is empty. He got away. Over. Yeah, he got away. But he left his bundle behind. Let's check out the registration, see who this bird belongs to. morning in Tucson. When I got back to the field, it was gone. First, I thought some jerk at the airport moved the plane to a different tie-down spot. Well, I want to tell you what we did. We turned that field upside down, and it was gone. Well, how can anybody steal a plane right from the field? Joe, will we get it back? I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see if the cops come up with anything. This thing's really got me shook up. Four hours in that bus didn't help much either. Oh, you have a student in a couple of hours, Al Rayburn. You better get some rest. Yeah, I guess I better. Flo, hey, I'm really sorry. Thanks, Jim. Yeah. An $80,000 investment gone. Just like that. Yeah. Don't worry about it, Mom, all right? Got insurance on it. Everything's gonna be all right. Place by an eyelash for ten years now. As soon as we get one thing paid off, something else goes. It has to be repaired. And now this. I don't know. Nothing's gone right since your father died. Oh, Grant. Oh, honey, I didn't mean that. I'm sorry. You've been such a help to me. Such a comfort. Oh. Okay, Florence, stop wallowing in all this self-pity and get with it. Be it ever so humble, we still have an airfield to run. Mom, it's gonna be all right, everything. It's gonna be just like Dad wanted. You'll see. You're nice people, Grant. Well, why all the gloom and doom? Joe just got back from Tucson. The new plane's been stolen. You've got to be kidding. And where was Hotshot when this happened? Out on the town somewhere? No, he was leaving that to you, Harry. Well, five will get you ten. The smugglers grabbed it. Smugglers? Well, they got to move some dope across the border, so they grabbed a plane here, loaded up in Mexico, and then dumped the whole thing out there in the desert. And that's where the cops find it? Yeah. After the smugglers set a torch to it. Oh, that's a beautiful thought. Listen, while you were in town, did you happen to remember to pick up those parts? Well, uh, well, I had something else to do, and I just... Harry, I have too many problems to deal with yours. I've already had two people take their engine maintenance elsewhere because you couldn't get to it. Now, I can't afford to lose the business, especially now. Okay, okay. Uh. At least I don't go around losing planes, huh? Sometimes Harry can really get on your nerves. Tell me about it. Oh, yeah, but we really owe him. You know, your dad couldn't have started this business without him. So I'm afraid we're stuck with him as long as we're here. Which may not be too much longer. Oh, Mom. Mm -hmm. in the pickup. No, I'm just going to be checking the variometer for the contest next Saturday, and that's it. All right, well, if you're not going to be using the trailer, how about I take it down to the DMV and pick up the new license plates? Sounds good to me. Open. Close. Check release. Close. Good. Hey, you think it'd be all right to try that uh, trick that Art Schultz taught me on the toe? Sure. Sure, whatever turns you on, Ace. But what do we get about 2,000 feet, okay? 2,000? Yeah.
can I do for you? Are you Mrs. Florence Stone? Yes. Do you own a Lance 2 N number 31642? Yes, I do. Did you find it? Uh, can we talk inside, please? Oh, sure. Here, come in. We're United States Customs. This is Buddy Phelps. I'm Mark Saunders. Well, what happened to the plane? And what's customs got to do with it? Well, your plane uh, was used to transport a load of marijuana out of Mexico. Now, our flight patrol thinks that it was piloted by a mule. That's a smuggler. One we've been trying to nail for quite some time now. Are you going to tell me what happened to the plane, or are you just going to torture me? Uh, I'm sorry. Mr. Stone, I'm afraid uh, the plane crashed. Crashed? Yeah. Now, the interesting thing here, Mrs. Stone, is that... Uh, your plane wasn't reported missing until after we'd forced it down. Maybe you could tell us why it took so long. Hey, wait a minute. We've been running a legitimate business here for 15 years. Do you think I'd get involved in some hey, kind hey. of a... What makes you think we're accusing you? Well, isn't that what you were just implying? Mrs. Stone, please. These are just routine questions. It's just that we run across quite a bit of uh, smuggling activity and these are FBOs like this one, and uh, we just have to check everything out. But, uh... Until we have completed our investigation, we will have to confiscate your plane. He's right. Well, you two sure turned out to be the good news bears. All we did was have a plane stolen. Mm. Now are you ready for the really bad news? The insurance company says we can't collect for loss or damage to the plane. And why not? Because it was used to commit a crime. And until the authorities release it, they will not process a claim. Stonefield. This is 038. Mom, do you hear me? 038, this is Stonefield. I'm right here, dear. What's up? Over. I'm in Strong Sink, about 20 miles or so southwest of the field. If I don't find lift very fast, I'm going to have to set her down. Can you give us some kind of landmark? Harry will bring the trailer. Over. Reese took it to town. 038, this is 038 ground. I'm headed your way in a trailer. Try to pinpoint your location for me. Over. All right, Joe. Nice to hear your voice. Just north of uh, Pearson's Ridge. There's a trail of some kind. Through the rocks, there's a little box canyon. Wait, wait, there's something down there. Looks like somebody's bulldozed out a road. Wait a minute, that could be a landing strip. Grant, you sure you can't scratch your way out of there? Uh, negative. Uh, but no sweat. I'm gonna put it down there on that field, all right? Over and out. Grant? Grant?
Roadhogs before, but this is too much. Why didn't you watch where you're going? I was watching. You ran right out in front of me. Aw, oh, gross. Look at my front wheel. It's been mutilated. Well, what are you going to do about this now, huh? What am I going to do about it? You don't watch where you're going either. Oh, really? You mean I'm supposed to look up so I don't run into airplanes or pigeons? You are weird. Hey, don't call me weird. You want to fight? What are you kids doing here? This is private property. Yeah, hey, um, I couldn't help it. Uh, I lost lift of my glider and I, I saw your landing strip here. This ain't any airport, boy. Now get that thing out of here. You too. Okay, okay, but... The front wheel's all bashed up. How am I supposed to move it? Why don't you walk it out? Hey, uh, I can't walk out my glider. Um, I'll just get on the radio and I'll put in a call and somebody will come and get me, all right? Ah! Nope. No calls. Hey, I got a right to use my radio. <laughs> Trespassers ain't got no rights. Well, uh, what am I supposed to do with my glider? Leave it! I'm not gonna leave my glider here. I'm glad you're here. What's going on, Grant? So these guys say we're trespassing. What? Tried to explain about the glider, now they say I gotta leave it here. And my bike, too. Oh, hey, look, if these kids were trespassing, I'm sure it was just an accident. No harm done, right? We'll just pack up the bike, the glider, and be out of here in 10 minutes, okay? Hey, listen. Suppose it just ain't okay. What? Listen, Hoover, if they're gonna clear out, I mean, what's the difference? Come on. Just be sure you stay out of here. Of course, next time. I'm gonna let my fingers do the talking. Put that silly thing away. Get out of here. Well, let's de-rig before those characters change their mind. Good idea. Wow! That was really cool the way you handled those creeps. Oh, I'm Martine Benson, but just Marty. Hi, Marty. Joe Reese. Well, on the average, a show of strength works with guys like that. What if it doesn't? Uh, your average goes down. Okay. <laughs> hey, Joe, why do you think those guys are so uptight? Oh, with dinghy prospectors like that, you never know. They might be scouting oil, uranium, maybe. The thing is, they don't want anybody nosing around. Yeah, I got that impression. Really? Listen, uh, I'm sorry about your bike. We got a pretty good mechanic at the field, and if you get the parts, uh, you'll repair them for free. Well, thank you. You wouldn't be doing that just to see me again, would you? What, you think I'd do a sneaky thing like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-huh. Can't you say anything besides, uh-huh? Yeah. They're old days. Hey, Marty. Oh, hi, Grant. You look pretty today. Thank you. <laughs> Got the wheel, huh? Yep. You met Harry? Yeah, we just had a nice long chat. Hey, Harry, this wheel goes on that girl we... Not, not a girl. This wheel goes on the bike we brought back yesterday. Think you can fix it for Marty today? Okay, just give me a couple hours. Want to wait or come back? Well, that depends. Would you believe I've never been up in one of these things before? Oh, really? Yep. Ah, you ought to try it someday. How about today? 
Uh, well, I mean, Harry's installing a new variometer for me. Okay, kid, you got yourself a new vario? You ought to take her up and try her out. And I agree with Harry. So what? You ought to take it up and try it out, and I'll keep you company. Picnic Valley, but that was our own special name for it. It's gorgeous. your manners and introduce me to your pretty friend there? Hey, you bet. Marty, this is Art Show. He was international aerobatic champion. Hi, Art. <laughs> Hi, Marty. Hey, hey, Grant, you didn't tell me you could do loop-de-loops, too? Sure. Well, then what are we flying along like this for? Come on, let's make like the Red Baron. Right on. Hey, Art, how about a little follow the leader? You got it, pal. Let's go. All right there, Marty, you got your seatbelts on good and tight? Yeah. Okay, hold on to your stomach. Matter, couldn't you sleep? Oh, I had a dream. It's more like a nightmare, though. Well, that's what happens when you got something on your mind. Yeah. Well, I'm going back to bed. Well, good night. Good night. Oh, you poor darling. Here, 
What happened, Harry? Uh, the burn, Steve. Oh. I found them loading your glider on a trailer. A glider? And they zapped me and threw me in there. What, did you scare them off before they took it? I don't know, kid. More. My glider's gone? Could you identify either one of them if we showed you some pictures? Uh, I never got a look. They got me before I had a chance. And nobody's got any idea who's deal a glider or why. Why? Well, it's worth quite a few bucks, of course. Yes, but it'd be a bit difficult to unload. If that'd be it, Sheriff, uh, I'm way behind in my work. Yeah, sure. Go ahead, Harry. Hi, Joe. Hi, Jan. Be right with you. Okay. Uh, Sheriff, I got a lesson to give. It's all right. All right. I'll see you all in a while. Mrs. Stone, how long have you known Harry? Oh, he started with my husband about uh, 12 years ago. Uh huh. You're not saying you suspect him. Did you know he had a record? I don't believe it. About 15 years ago, he flew an escape convict across the border. He got a suspended sentence, but they revoked his pilot's license. Yeah, well, Harry told us it was because he couldn't pass his physical. Well, anyway, what of it? What he did years ago doesn't concern me. Harry stood by me through some pretty bad times, and I'd trust him with my life. I know. But you've had two planes stolen in three days. Man, I can't get over the sheriff accusing Harry. The whole thing is too much. Well, listen, Grant. They found the stolen plane, so maybe you'll get your glider back. Huh. Better condition, I hope. Gee. I'd make a rotten cheerleader. Uh, that's okay. I mean, the thing about the glider is I got it with the money my dad left me. You always want us to get one, and then somebody takes it. Do you mind if I ask what happened to your dad? He was killed in Vietnam. Oh. First we thought his plane was shot down, then they told us it was sabotage. Yeah? Yeah, and Joe, they were Air Force buddies, and he just brought all his things back and uh, just decided to stay on and help Mom. Oh. Got to make sure these gas caps are on good and tight, because if one of these comes off in flight, gas will siphon out in a few minutes. Up there is no place to run out of gas. Really? Be a long walk to the nearest gas station. Sure would. Hey, Grant, oh. I just got a call from some guy in Nogales. I don't know who he is, but he told me where we could pick up the glider. All right. See? Well, let's go. Any chance it might come along? Oh, we don't know what we might be getting into. It could be dangerous. Oh. You're trying to discourage it, Joe. It's the wrong way. Well, I just don't think it's any place for a young lady. That is even wronger. Yeah, Marty, probably best if just Joe and I went, okay? Chauvinists. I'll call you when I get back. So where are we going? Mexico. We get some drop-in company. Open. Close. Oh boy, there's a nice looking cues over there. Yeah, it should be a pretty good lift. Joe, I don't have clearance to fly across the border. What if I'm caught? Uh, you just tell the border patrol you got blown off course. Happens all the time. You gonna visit me in the cooler? In the what? In the cooler. Oh yeah, the cooler. I never miss a party. For sure in the cooler. The cooler. Yeah, yeah. In the cooler. Uh huh.
straight to 038 ground. the trailer back. Weird. This whole thing is weird. First they steal your plane and it's wrecked and now they steal your glider. Yeah, the question is who is they? Your grammar is rotten. Yeah, it's like someone up there is trying to get us. Yeah. Hey Marty, walk the wing for me, would you? Sure. If you pass me that little Christmas package behind that seat. Dope. It's not confectioner sugar. I'll take that. That's dope, isn't it? Why don't you shut up? You can't intimidate me. the guys that stole my glider? Well, you got it back, didn't you? Well, where's his trailer? He's gonna get that back, too. If he cooperates. This whole thing, stealing my glider, was to get me to smuggle the stuff in, wasn't it? That's right, baby. You're one of us mules now. So as long as you stay in line, we won't have to take no more steps. Meaning what? Well, somebody just might make an anonymous phone call to the Knox. And tell them that this here place is a cover for smuggling outfit. Yeah. Huh. Fred! Hey, you cool it. You hear, baby? You cool it. That was just a trial run. We'll be in touch. I had to tell somebody. I didn't know what to do. I don't care what that creep said. This should be reported to the police. And I agree, Joe. No, no, thank you. Why not? Trust me. I'm going to lay something pretty heavy on you. But you have got to swear to me that you won't say anything to anybody. Sure. All right. I've been working undercover for customs trying to crack this smuggling ring. The feds came to me because of my background at NAM. Thought that the airfield would be a perfect cover, and it is and it has been. And I was getting close to these guys. Until the two of you stumbled on that hidden airfield and... 
Well, I had to say it, but that kind of screwed things up just a little bit. Joe, I'll testify against him. No, 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 it's too soon. Those guys are just the hired help. We want to find out who's directing this operation and where the director. They're directing it from. from the land. No, strip. no, no. I mean a place where they got sophisticated electronics set up, monitoring equipment, stuff like that. Where that place is is probably miles away from that landing strip, and we've got other complications. We got a lead that they got somebody in customs who's working for them. That's why they're always a step ahead of us. An informer? And that's why we can't make a move right now. So what am I supposed to do? What you're supposed to do is just carry on normally. That sure blows the cross-country race I was going to fly in next weekend. Why? Go fly in it. That's good. Marty was going to crew for me. Go out to the Desert Hill Airport to practice, you know, get to know the area better. Well, that's cool. Hey, Grant, just remember, don't say anything to anybody, okay? What happens if they try to get me to fly another shipment? You'll just have to go through with it. Oh, you're kidding. Grant. Grant. If you cross these guys, they're likely to go after your mom or Marty. Hey, I know it's going to be a little touch and go for a while, but I promise you, with your help, we're going to nail these guys, and we're going to nail them soon. And it's going to be all over. What do you say? on the Unicom that they're stopping here to refuel. Hello, Miss Stone. Mr. Sanders? I guess we need a fill-up. I'll have my mechanic take care of it. Harry! Uh, Miss Stone. Would you fill it out? Uh, I just want to apologize for all the inconvenience we've caused you. Well, I certainly appreciate your sympathy. Now, uh, do you have any idea how I can make the payment on a plane that hasn't earned a dime since you people tied it up? Excuse me. Uh, so what are you guys doing here anyway? You didn't come to gas up. You're still trying to get something on us, aren't you? Well, if you're not involved, you got nothing to worry about. If we're not involved. Look, quit hassling us. We don't need you people around here. And anyway, I got very good information that one of you customs guys is involved in the smuggling thing. Well, I'd sure like to know where you heard that. Never mind where I heard it. How do I know it isn't one of you guys? Now listen, if you've got any information, you'd better tell us now. Withholding evidence is a crime. Uh, buddy, buddy, please. Look, I, look, I don't blame you or your mom for being annoyed. I guess maybe we do come on a little strong. Some of us, anyway. But if we do come on strong, it's because we've seen the other side of dope running. That we see the addicts who are slowly killing themselves. Pushers, working schoolyards, you know, that can really get you worked up. Yeah, sure. Now, one more thing. If you know something that would help us crack this ring, I sure wish you'd tell me now. You know, the, uh, the government pays for information leading to arrest of smugglers. Yeah, I think your plane's all gassed up.
Okay, slow. Slow, guys. Gonna go soaring today? Uh, 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 uh. I was just being a little polite. Come on. Polite. <laughs> the main thing is to stay in radio contact. Close. And stay as close as possible while I'm getting familiar with the terrain, all right? Roger will call 10 4 over and out. I'm serious, Marty. Okay. Turning on your right. It's the dirt road. Keep in touch.
Oh, uh, back down the road. It got stuck. It got stuck? Well, let's go get it unstuck. Well, why don't we go check out the mine first? Marty, these guys are for real. It's not like the late night movies. They're killers. Okay, then I guess I'll just have to do it my way. Chicken. Okay, okay. We'll compromise. We'll do it your way. <laughs> I wonder what it feels like when a bullet hits you. I wouldn't worry about it. They say you never feel the bullet that kills you. Oh, huh, nice thought. Official calls. Could be Border Patrol or Customs. Now, the trouble with you, Hoover, you think you're Billy the Kid. Now, hey. Hey, Will, huh?
I'll go down the other side. you to hide, okay? And I'm gonna go and get some help, all right? You stop treating me like somebody's grandmother. We'll both go. Anybody ever tell you you're crazy? It sounds familiar. Come on. You sure come to hand.
When I give you the signal, you get up to the fifty five as fast as you can. When I cut loose, you all. Got it. to a pilot you care about. Boy, we really cornered those rats. We saw their van and we followed them right to their, uh... Um, well, now that you've heard the good news, what's the bad news? Joe says they probably cleared out all their equipment and split thanks to us. Oh. Well, I, I hope they don't split in this direction. Well, I don't think they're gonna bother about you. They need you now, Grant. But they need me for what? Well, like the man told you, the last time you ran some goods, it was just a trial run. But we figure they're getting ready to have you move some heavy merchandise. They may even try for race day. Race day? Why, sure, with all those gliders up there, who's going to notice if one should slip across the border? Well, I mean, you're a narc. You, uh, you still think I ought to do it? Oh, hey, Grant, I hate to ask you to do it. But it's our chance to grab them. And it's your chance to get yourself and everybody else off the hook. What do you say? All right, you talk me into it. Okay.
What's this? What? Water boy. Flying instructions for the pigeon. What pigeon? Me. It's just like Joe said, they plan to keep on using me. Are you gonna do it? What choice do I got? Hi there. I uh, didn't know you were interested in gliders. Oh, yeah. Especially lately. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Just came to wish you good luck. Yeah, well, why don't you get off my back? Now, look. <laughs> I'm sorry I teed off on you the other day. Maybe we can just forget the whole thing, huh? Yeah, I already have. Excellent. See, now that's the spirit. And remember, if you decide you need us, We'll never be very far away. Good luck now. Thank you. Do you think he knows anything? No. Just doing a snooping thing, I hope. Oh. Oh, man. Do you think he might follow you? Nah, there's gonna be too many gliders up there, but they're gonna be listening, that's for sure. They're gonna hear everything we say. Well, we better not say anything too intimate. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> well, how about this? We could make up a secret code, and then they wouldn't know what we're talking about. Secret code? It's not bad thinking for a girl. Chauvinist. Okay. Fashion. Good luck. Think I'm gonna need it? Nope. Well, I hope you're right. <laughs> Disco calling Disco 2. Come in, over. Hello, Disco. This is Disco 2. Come in. Okay, I see the rock pile. I'm gonna boogie on down, do a little... Hustle on the flip side. Do you read me, Disco 2? Over. That's a big 10 bar, boogeyman. Over and out. Pack rat, this is Eagle 1. Over. Eagle 1, come in. Pack rat, what was that all about? Over. You got me. Probably a code of some kind. 
So not to tip off the competition. Roger. But maybe we are the competition, over. Why don't you try and establish visual contact with him? There must be 30 gliders up here. They all look alike. Waterboy, Mule Skinner, go ahead. Now it's going there, Waterboy. You're right on schedule. Now you can hit for Pont Whiskey and we'll have a little present for you. Over. 10 4, Mule Skinner. Over and out. <laughs> Any sign of him? Negative. We've lost him, pack rat. end up enjoying this. <laughs> Here you go. Hey, hey, what are you doing with the oxygen bottle? We're just making sure you got a full one. That one we know is full. Now look, there's over a half million dollars worth of goods in that bottle, boy. Now don't let anything happen to it, you hear? What am I supposed to do if I have to go on oxygen? Well, what can I tell you? Take a deep breath and hold it. Listen, boy, don't you get any ideas about taking off with our stuff, because just remember, we're going to be right on your tail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, good luck. Yeah, everybody's wishing me good luck. Meaning what? Meaning nothing. Thank you. 
keep an eye on ya. We're gonna check to the customs. We'll be right back. This is Disco to Disco 2. Come in, over. This is Disco 2. Come in. We boogied out. Making tracks for Wolfman's wigwam. That's a 10-4. Take care, Grant. Over now. Pack rat, this is Eagle One. Any idea what they're up to, over? You got me, Eagle One. <laughs> This is 038. Go ahead, Mom. Grant, there's been a change in plans. What plans? Mom, what are you talking about? The destination's been changed. You're now to go to Picnic Valley. Do you understand? Picnic Valley? It's where we used to go with your father on holidays. Oh, you mean over by the, uh... That's right. ETA 50 minutes. Acknowledge. Over. Acknowledge. Who is this? Pack rat. Where is Picnic Valley, over? I don't know, Eagle One, but I think I know who does. Mom, are you all right? I'm all right, honey. Just don't pay loud, and you know it'll get hurt, do you read me? Loud and clear. Come on now, what are you trying to do? Kill us 
Call the police. Tell them they're gonna find something in the pass at Sawtooth Mountain. Couple of birds just got their wings clipped. What's all this about Picnic Valley? What, you heard everything? Yeah. What's going on? What happened to your mom? I don't know. Joe's here. Mom, who is that on the radio? Oh, no. Come on. Mom, I don't believe it. Joe? You're the one who's doing this to us? This is the part I'll never forgive you for. Involving Grant. It was the only way. Things are getting hot. You're the one the feds are looking for, huh? When you crashed our lance and those guys that have been bugging me, those are your guys, huh? Get out of my way, huh? Oh, my mind's really spinning now. Back. Way back. The Air Force said Mike found out about a black market ring and that they might have killed him. But I'm getting another story. A nightmare of a picture. You were part of that ring, weren't you? Wait a minute, Flo. I had nothing to do with Mike's death. I begged him to cooperate. We even offered to cut him in. Mike, you're Mike, who's gonna blow the whistle. So you killed him. You are crazy, Flo. He was my buddy. I wouldn't do a thing like that. Oh, Joe, I never thought you'd do a thing like this. I swear he was the others. They wouldn't risk it, they said. But you didn't do anything to stop it. I tried. <sighs> Joe, you're a creep. You are, you're... No, wait. Easy, Grant. Don't! I don't want to do anything to hurt you. Oh, that's a laugh. Now let's just cool it. Huh, both of you? Let me do what I gotta do. This is what it's all about. Half a million dollars worth of... Pure? High grade, Harold. I'd say it's my retirement fund. See, Flo, the difference between me and Mike is that he'd have been happy to hang around a, a rundown little airport and give flying lessons the rest of his life. Let's just say I set my sights higher. Yeah. 
Or a lot lower, depending on where you stand. Yeah. So what are you going to do now, Joe? I'm going bye-bye. And you're not going to talk to anybody. Bye. I'll send you a postcard. You can count on that. I'll send you a postcard. Uh... No return address. Of course. before they even start looking for him. Shouldn't be too hard to track the plane once we put out the word. Oh, he'll dump it in the desert someplace where he's got his car hidden. We're never gonna find him. Mrs. Stone and Grant. Tells us he's an undercover narc. I give up. I leave all that bunk to Joe Reese. Harry heard Reese claim to be an agent and called us to check him out. Yeah, never did trust that character. After that, it was just a matter of waiting for Reese to make his move. And we hoped that you two would be the link that we needed. But you know something? You really threw us with all that double talk during the race. <laughs> and that's when I remember you used to call this place Picnic Valley. That's right. Yeah. It's a shame you didn't get here before Reese got away. Well, Buddy's in the air. They're tracking him now. Oh, uh, with Joe's luck, they'll never find him. Oh, I don't know. I got a feeling he just may not get very far. Huh? What are you talking about? Ta-da! The gas caps, <laughs> Marty! <laughs> you don't forget a thing! The gas will siphon out! Marty, now that was pretty cool. <laughs> wow, if I had a medal, I'd give it to you. Will you settle for dinner and a show instead? Sure. <laughs> Mom, Harry, would you join us? Uh, oh, no, that's all right. You go ahead. Yeah. You know, you two are pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs>